Managing type 2 diabetes is more than just keeping blood sugar levels in check. There's another critical factor at play, glutathione or GSH, an antioxidant that helps protect your cells from oxidative damage. In people with type 2 diabetes, especially those with complications like nerve or kidney damage, glutathione levels are significantly lower. This raises an important question. Is this deficiency connected to diabetes severity? And how does it impact long-term health? In this video, we'll dive into the relationship between glutathione metabolism, blood sugar control, and complications in type 2 diabetes. A recent case control study looked at glutathione metabolism in 16 type 2 diabetes patients, nine of whom had microvascular complications, and compared them to eight healthy controls. The findings were striking. Patients with type 2 diabetes had significantly lower GSH concentrations compared to the controls, about 60% lower. Their GSH synthesis rates were also lower, showing a 50% decrease in production. Interestingly, the study revealed that patients with complications, like nerve, kidney, or retinal damage, had even more pronounced deficiencies in glutathione. While this might suggest that worse blood sugar control, higher fasting glucose or HbA1c levels, leads to lower GSH, the data didn't support that assumption. The results showed no direct link between glycemic levels and GSH concentrations or synthesis rates. This suggests that other factors, beyond blood sugar, contribute to glutathione deficiency in diabetic patients. These findings highlight a potential gap in how we approach oxidative stress management in diabetes, especially in cases with more severe complications. Let's break down the results further. The study differentiated between absolute and fractional synthesis rates of glutathione. While absolute synthesis rates, how much GSH is being produced, were lower in diabetic patients, fractional synthesis rates, or the percentage of GSH produced per day, didn't show a significant difference. This suggests that, although diabetic patients produce less glutathione overall, their bodies are still trying to compensate by maintaining the same production efficiency. More importantly, microvascular complications, such as damage to the eyes, kidneys, or nerves, intensified this deficiency. Patients with these complications had even lower GSH levels, indicating more severe oxidative stress. The study's findings also pointed out a critical fact. The degree of hyperglycemia, as indicated by fasting glucose and HbA1c, did not directly correlate with glutathione deficiency. This suggests that the issue may stem from non-glycemic mechanisms, factors not related to blood sugar levels, but potentially linked to inflammation or metabolic dysfunction. These insights could help reshape approaches to diabetes treatment, focusing more on oxidative stress. This study highlights the significant role of glutathione deficiency in type 2 diabetes especially in patients with microvascular complications. Despite lower GSH levels, these deficiencies don't seem to be directly tied to glycemia, suggesting a need to explore non-glycemic pathways that contribute to oxidative stress and diabetes. These findings emphasize the potential of therapies targeting glutathione metabolism in diabetes management, beyond just controlling blood sugar levels. If you found this information helpful, be sure to subscribe for more insights into managing diabetes and improving your overall health.